Hi everyone and welcome back to Warno. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the tournament games from this weekend's 2v2 tournament. My plan is to recast all of those games and put them one by one over the next couple of weeks. The reason for that is just so firstly we have them in a lot more detail because the stream was 1080p and this is going to be 1440p. And also some of those games were kind of skipped through quite quickly because we were between other matches and it was just sort of to fill the time. Whereas here I can give them the time they deserve because everyone played really well in the tournament and I think everyone deserves that. Now this first game was Ambert and Carmel versus Saint Jagtar and Jagd 3D. Ambert and Carmel playing as NATO and Saint Jagtar and Jagd playing as the Soviets or Russia in this case. Now we have over on the right hand side, we have NATO in red because Warno hates us. So we have Karma at the top of the map and we have Ambert at the bottom. Obviously there will be some mixing of the two as the game goes. And then over on the other side we have Jag 3 d at the top of the map and St. Jagtar at the bottom. This map is obviously mainly focused around this central point. This central point is worth three, unlike the two of the other points around the map and it also means that if you hold that you've got a good chance of winning the game this is all about points we're still running in a time frame where there is no time limit on these games so it is vital to get those points so let's set this off now i've seen a couple of people using scout choppers in this tournament and I'm pleased to see they're being used more. Also seeing quite a lot of this. St. Jagtar there throwing out an SU-24M cluster straight away. Very, very powerful. When used correctly. Perfect timing. A significant amount of destruction of those transport vehicles there. Raven was called out for Amber to try and kill some anti-air but I can't see that it's actually managed to kill anything at that side of the map. Very quick use of Apaches here, although there's also some MI-24s at the other side, which are actually anti-air, so they will be taking out those choppers pretty quickly. Down at the bottom, not a huge amount of units, a couple of Cobras going for the center and a Spetsnaz Gru scout squad from Jag 3D. Load of Motostrelki coming in here and Radvedska. Obviously less than was anticipated for Ambert after he lost some of those troops to that bomber. Though Ambert is pushing quite far ahead, he is pushing straight into Foxtrot. Up here at the top of the map, we just had a Raven come in doing a pass again. We've got Karma War pushing in quite violently I would say trying to get a bit of a foothold but Jag3D was there first and will be using his Motostrelki to good effect against those military police though they may be outnumbered up here we see those Apaches being used effectively against infantry and that Raven is still just fluttering around in the air trying to get any anti-air units down at the bottom we can see that St. Jagtar has actually pushed quite hard against Amber. Has managed to get some Radvedska around the back there. Some Sapri in those bushes there. And has quite a lot of Motostrelki and Sapri up here as well. Which are being quite effective against the squad of mech rifles that only have two little guys left. They are being fired on by that M1A1 though. Cluster Bomber coming in for Jag 3D again there, going for that Abrams. Very, very effective right now, the SU-24M Cluster Bombers and the HE Bombers due to their tight spread. Those Radvedska are going right around the back of the map. I do note that uh, the command vehicle is missing here. I assume that uh, Ambert forgot to buy one. But there is one coming up from the top of the map. It's also possible Ambert moved it out early game to cap another point. At the moment, looks like Ambert has a pretty secure hold of the center. Just one squad of Spetsnaz grew 
for the other side. Now, I'm taking a look down here. That's quite a few squads of Motstrelki and Sapri squad there. Yes, there is a tank, however, there's not a lot in this point. Ambert will be reinforcing this point now, but currently there are three Stinger squads and two Cobras. I mean, they're the thing that's stopping Saint pushing. If those guys weren't there or they moved up this Strella, then I'm pretty sure they could get in here. Apache being used again to good effect to take out those scouts. But they saw enough. They saw enough to come in and bomb that command vehicle. Though he did lose his bomber in the process. Center again, seemingly a firm hold for Ambert. The other guys not really making much of a push on that. Up at the top, we kind of have a stalemated situation now. Karma has a tank still there with that one pip of health, another tank there. He's not against any tanks by the looks of it from Jagd 3D. And Jagd is bringing in more motor Strelke. Obviously, the advantage here is that Karma has those choppers, which will be very useful at stopping any infantry push. Down at the bottom of the map, we can see that Amber is bringing in a lot more infantry. And I will note that Amber is obviously playing as the 8th Infantry Division. And in this tournament, one team member had to play as the Infantry Division and one as the relevant Tank Division. And obviously you can see here Saint is playing as the 39th Infantry. So it's actually him down here in Foxtrot. Whereas you've got Jagd versing off against Karma with the two Tank Divisions at the top of the map. I do note that uh, some units are starting to push down from Jagd towards the center. Probably that realization that they need to hold that point. Ambert has now pretty much got all the forces I think he needs to fully reinforce that point. It's unfortunate that, you know, Saint didn't have that hindsight because I believe Saint could have taken that point. Certainly could have got in there and taken out all of the stingers and stopped the reinforcements getting through to the center. That Strella would have had to come much further forward and avoid the tank that was there, however. Jagd slowly moving more units in towards the center there. Big fight is usually going to occur around here on this map because the important thing is being able to bring in reinforcements down this road. If the enemy controls this area, that is not safe. You have to go the long way around. But right now, I would say that Amber has a pretty strong hold on this area of the map. And notice that cluster coming in again, but it is taking a lot of shots from those stingers. And I will note those stingers are fully ranked up, so they technically have on paper 105% accuracy so they are very effective pretty much stagnated up here at the top but we are seeing karma pushing down here as i say blocking off that t junction to stop him bringing in reinforcements is obviously very important for karma and you know is one way of again securing this point if you can get into these trees as well then your enemy cannot reinforce this position without going through the forest or coming from down below. And honestly, right now, Amber probably has enough forces here to stop anything coming from the bottom as well. See a HE bomber coming in there. We can zoom in and just have a look at its spread. It's going to be hitting those stingers at the back and kills them in one hit. Very weak units. Seeing some eagles coming in, trying to kill those bombers. I will note that the uh, SU-24Ms do seem to manage to evade the anti-aircraft jets pretty effectively. Those ASF fighters just not doing quite enough against them at the moment, in my opinion. Amber resecuring his hole now. 
has plenty of units in this point and is pushing back against those Mortstralki and Sapri. There aren't honestly many of them left. Saint is trying to reinforce this point at the same time. And Jagd is trying and finding it a struggle, I think, to fight off Karma at the top. Karma making more use of tanks at the moment. And as we know, tanks are very strong against most units in the game, including infantry at range. See a command sapery coming in there, I assume, to try and get in around the back. Chopper's hanging back here. A detachment that could possibly be moving in, because there isn't actually any anti-air in the center. There is a couple of stingers here and down here, but nothing actually right in the center at the moment. That F-15C Eagle just staying in on station to try and fend off any bombers that come in. Lots of Mottstralki coming in for Saint, heading towards the center now. Ambert, happy that this line has pushed back out, I suspect isn't going to make an aggressive push here, doesn't really need to. At the top of the map, Karma quite settled that he doesn't need to move units here, but is pushing these engineers forward just to regain control of this entire forest. And down here, obviously, bringing in reinforcements to the center. Very, very difficult for Jag 3D now. Those Apaches could do with a repair, actually, but have been utilized very effectively. Let's see, that is an Urgan. Very powerful artillery piece that is new to the infantry division for the Russians. All those Mottstraki just sat in their vehicles at the moment. I suspect that uh, Saint is just concentrating on other things. A CUV pushing up here. I expect to deal with some of the infantry more than anything else. Possibly to provide a bit of a deterrent. Amber has a very significant force, along with a couple of bits from Karma, command vehicle there. Another stinger at the back now, so it does have some anti-air in the center. These vehicles with Mottostralki in now pushing up slowly. I probably would have deployed them at this point. Back at the top of the map, those engineers are still pushing forward slowly. They're not looking too healthy at the moment, though. They are up against some BMPs and Mottostralki. BMP isn't looking too healthy either. Still a firm hold on this area for Karma. That is again stopping any reinforcements coming this way for Jagd. And here Saint slowly pushing those units up. Really needs to get them out of those vehicles as those military police will start doing quite a bit of damage. There we go. He has He has unloaded those troops now. Should be pretty effective against the military police, the Mottostralki, now that they're out of the vehicles. Quick response from Amber, shifting down all the other infantry. Interesting, Amber making a little bit of a push down here. I'm not sure if that was a deliberate effort or an attempt to get up this road here. Obviously, MI-24 providing a lot of rocket support which I found in our own testing was a very, very effective against infantry. Though a significant force of infantry moving in there. Coming up against two T-64s, however, which should make pretty short work of the Heimatsuchen. Up at the top of the map, lots of reinforcements coming in for Karma. This area, I suspect, will eventually push into these trees as well. And further up, Karma has been pushed out of this center area by the Mottostralki and that BMP. However, it's pretty much surrounded it anyway. Saint and Jags did have a very, very good start. 
and their aggressive push here the destruction of those vehicles with the cluster bomber at the bottom I think if in hindsight they'd known what was there and could have pushed into here they might have held golf for a while and it would have delayed Amber putting a lot more forces in the center early on so they've played a very good game I feel like they're starting to struggle and get a little bit overwhelmed versus Amber and Karma but you know Amber and Karma are probably one of the best teams that would have been in this tournament and you know certainly in my mind we're going to make it to the final one way or the other and up at the top Karma making a little bit of a push with his units pushing forward slightly not necessarily needing to but wanting to put those units to use Ambert's lost a lot of his uh, infantry that were at the center Jag also has numerous infantry squads BMP2s coming in from the top now as well and some tanks so they will be making a push into this side of the center point looking at the rest of the map no units behind anyone's base at the moment that's not something we saw a huge amount in the last tournament either to be fair did happen on occasion Amber is making a push into Foxtrot here now this is an interesting point because it's got so many buildings it's a very good point to defend if you can flood all these front buildings with infantry Equally, if you manage to get a foothold in it, it's very hard to be dislodged. So if you are the attacking force and you manage to start getting units in these buildings and pushing through them, it's very hard to be pushed back out. That fight for the center is starting. Lots of units pushing in now. I just heard some anti-air units firing. Must have been a pivad firing at the choppers here. Ah, flash engineers will make short work of most infantry, though not so much against those sapri RPOs. Support vehicles moving in there. A couple of squads of Motstralki not yet unloaded. Karma making a strong push across the top of the map there. Not so much feeling the need to engage with this cluster of vehicles and infantry. is just hitting them from range. And of course, doesn't really need to. The rule, as in Wargame, is if you can go around a point that is heavily defended, go around it. You do not have to engage it. You can just surround it. HE Bomber coming in there. Just going for those mech rifles by the looks of it. We'll make short work of them. Again, the spread on the SU-24, very, very effective. Jag trying to get some units around the back there, I think. Some choppers, but of course, coming up against that pivot. Saint pushing back with his tanks at the top of the map. Though I can see some of these infantry now getting in a building here. Going to be coming up against plenty of Motostralki, though. Center of the map, those Flash Engineers have done a bit of a... getting around the back maneuver. Bit of a flanking maneuver for the Flash Engineers there. Coming against the RPO, however. One squad is dead already. The other squad only has two members, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, they weren't going to survive long against those RPOs. Top of the map, I think it's safe to say that Karma has uh, overcome Jag defences there. Will likely be able to push into the next point along. Big counter push here in the centre from Jag and Saint, however mostly jag forces now coming up against a lot of m113s
which are living for quite a long time, to be perfectly honest. A couple of motorcycle squads sat at the back here that could be a little bit further forward, perhaps. That Apache, realizing there is no anti-air there, being used very effectively, just flying it across those motorstrelki, able to use their cannon on the move, able to fire rockets very quickly. Choppers still being a devastating force in this game, much as they were when used correctly in Wargame Red Dragon. Looks like Saint has managed to secure the front of this point again, though obviously Ambert still has a couple of units in there. In the centre, those Apaches have made extremely short work of all of those forces that were there. And those M113A3 survived that fight. I am genuinely shocked that they survived. And those Apaches gone in there, killed the choppers that were there with the cannons. Really powerful, those Apaches still. Karma's forces pushing across now has actually dislodged the forces that were here. Still up against that. BMP-1 has lost two squads of infantry as a result of not realising it was there. A couple of squads, no, no, one squad of Mottstrelki and a transport up there. And a little cluster of units down here. Karma still making a push, however. Karma with units all the way down here, feeling very secure just having a single Stinger squad there. Those Apaches wiping out any enemy forces in the area. I think they will see and kill those Motostrelki commander as well. Bit of an effort from Saint to try and push through, but uh, Amber just has too many units there now. He's got the Apaches, tanks, and some anti-air cover with those ranked up stingers. And plenty of air cover with those ranked up stingers. Again, we're talking about possibly a true 105% accuracy on those missiles. They fire slow, but they are very accurate. Up at the top, yeah. Karma pushing in with a lot of units now, going into that point. Will be taking Hotel if the game doesn't end sooner. Down at the bottom, um, but moving more units sort of into position, but not necessarily aiming to take Foxtrot. Still an amount of units, small amount that is, coming in for Jagd and Saint. But at the moment, if we zoom out, we can see that the uh, overwhelming force is certainly that of Amber and Karma. But at 21 and a half minutes, I think that uh, Saint and Jag have done an exceptional job at staving off Amber and Karma for as long as they have. They're up against two of the best players in the games and certainly in this tournament. Lots more infantry coming in for Amber. Just a constant stream there and the same for Karma. Just a constant stream of units flooding in. Very heavily defended command vehicles for Karma as well. Not something you see from less experienced players that's a concentrated effort to make sure they can't be bombed nothing in the center but I feel uh, pretty secure that nothing is going to get past here and but making another little push at the bottom of the map there and karma sort of Stopped in his tracks a little bit, but will still be making an effort to push forward. And that's the thing about these two very experienced players. It's just an unrelenting constant attack, bringing in a CV to decap that point, increasing their gains to plus five, just to speed up the process of winning the game. Not many points left to go now. couple of cluster bombers now coming in for Karma as well, feeling a bit more secure that there's not a lot of air defence. And that's game. 
minor victory, minor defeat. I mean, Saint and Jag did a very good job at the start. Certainly outclassed in terms of kills versus losses. But, you know, again, Amber and Karma War will be going to the final. So to go up against them and last as long as they did and get as many points at the start as they did, I think is really good. And also managing to catch them out a little bit at the start was really well played by Saint and Jagged. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. I hope that was entertaining. Please stay tuned to the channel. We will be going through each of the games one by one. So I'll see you all soon.